thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot, and I'm Diana. This reading is going to be for the astrological sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere in your birth chart that Scorpio might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, PayPal, and some links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys will like. This reading is going to be for the month of November 2019. Although anytime that you come across it and feel drawn to it, you will find a message for you within it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and shuffle these cards. What are the love messages you have for Scorpio for the month of November 2019? What are the love messages for Scorpio <clears throat> for the month of November 2019? What are the love messages for Scorpio for the month of November 2019? Chuckle just a little bit more. A little bit more. ahead and divide these up. Alright, <clears throat> the card on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. Alright, so this card is going to be the overall energy for this particular reading and as we go through your spread I'll show you how this card will relate to the different cards that come up along the way. All right, I do four rows, and the first row is for you, um, what you've recently been through, what's coming towards you, things that are currently going on right now. And the second column is the same thing, only it's for your beloved, your intended twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart, karmic partner an ex, um, someone you might have just met, or whoever is first in your thoughts when you wake up in the morning and last in your thoughts when you go to sleep at night. That's moving my little lamp. <laughs> so that noise was. The third column is the obstacles you'll be facing in this situation. And the fourth is the outcome. All right. Hang on. Thanks. All right. All right. So... For you, we have the Three of Swords as well as the Six of Wands. So, <clears throat> you may have recently found out about a third party situation. Or, you could have, um, no, I don't think you were involved with it. I think you found out about a third party situation. But, the reason this victory, Six of Wands, is beside you is it's like um, the feeling when you found out you dodged a bullet. Uh, it's better to find out now than to find out later when you are more involved and more invested in the relationship and have a lot more to lose as far as your heart is concerned. So this may be uh, something that, um, yeah, something that you're going to, something that you're just finding out about or just about to find out about. Okay, so your partner has the Three of Cups as well as the Chariot, and this is a person that may be just a little more impulsive than um, <clears throat> than normal, you know, there's no, really no such thing as normal, but than what most people uh, are. They just impulsively act on whatever it is they're feeling if they are out and about in their party and or they may have had too much to drink or something. Maybe, you know, someone makes a pass at them and they take them up on it or they're overly flirtatious, okay? So this may be how this uh, third party situation has come about. Your obstacles are the Nine of Cups as well as the Page of Swords. So, Scorpio, <laughs> All right, you may be feeling like um, this is definitely a situation you want to, you know, just cut off at the knees. You don't want anything else to do with it. Uh, there's really nothing to communicate about. You had all this love that you were willing to offer, and basically it's just being shunned as if it meant nothing to this person at all. And even though <clears throat> it may have meant something to them, 
loving. This is a person that has trouble loving. This is a person who may not have had the type of love in their uh, childhood or um, early adulthood that uh, was um, was beneficial to their emotional health. Uh, so it feels foreign to them when people offer them this type of love. So when you are offering these Nine of Cups to your uh, person that you're involved with, uh, they were feeling like um, they didn't know how to handle it. It's not familiar to them. There's these. There's a lot of people that whenever they're in a situation and things are going too smoothly, it's strange to them, and they will stir up a little bit of drama and chaos and things like that. Uh, you're having none of that. No nonsense. You want a relationship. You want loyalty. You want faithfulness in your relationship. So, as far as your outcome we have the lovers as well as the eight of wands so you may you know as you decide to cut this out you are going to move on and in the end i see that you are going to be with someone that is more suitable to you uh, this is really great because the last couple of readings i've done this lovers has come up as far as the outcome and it is so awesome that everybody is uh pairing up and bonding up <laughs> into the year and things are, are turning for them and they're able to get out of uh, more toxic relationships. So yeah, this this new love is going to come into your life very quickly, very rapidly, out of the blue. You're not even going to see it coming. It may be someone that has had their eye on you for a while that decides to speak up or it may be that you notice them and, and decide to uh, pursue that just a little bit. All right, so back back on you, we have the Four of Cups as well as the Four of Wands. So definitely, um, <clears throat> for a while, as you're out there dating and looking around, uh, you may find that, you know, this one is not what exactly I want. This one's not what I want. You may be getting a lot of offers, but none of them really tickle your fancy, so to speak. But you may actually uh, find yourself just... A little discontent or bored with it but you are definitely out there looking for and waiting on this soulmate connection we have the four of wands which uh, mirror the 1111 which indicates like a soulmate connection that's coming towards you uh, very very soon uh, you know this right here is in your outcome so yeah it's not it's not gonna be long before it presents itself all right, so we have Tower as well as the Seven of Wands reversed. So, <clears throat> yeah, so when you find out about this third-party situation and all the things that your uh, person has been doing, hold on, uh, yeah, it's all going to fall apart. It's just not the way it should be. Uh, there's no more... Uh, <clears throat> feeling defensive about it. There's no more putting up with it. There's no more tolerating it. There's no more trying to uh, keep things like on a status quo situation. You want to uh, be able to, you know, it's just like let it go. Just let it go. It's not worth uh, being upset over. It's not worth <clears throat> troubling your mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not worth troubling your mind and all those things that go along with that. So just let the tower crumble and let it fall where it may, you know? And it seems to be that that would be the best situation. Now, on your obstacles, we have the temperance reversed as well as the seven of pentacles. So while you are um, wanting this situation right here uh, with your divine counterpart, to come in and it will come in quickly and it is coming in quickly you may feel as if it's not coming in quickly enough uh, you need to like be more patient okay you're sitting here um, preparing yourself so you have this nine of cups uh, in your heart this is all the things that you would need in a love situation uh, to offer someone to be complete but the one thing you're missing is your soulmate so you are sitting here and continuing to work on yourself and to uh, feather your nest so to speak for this particular uh, new love that's uh, soon to present itself to your life just be patient and um, before you know it 
Like I said, it's going to be out of the blue when it's least expected. So you may be feeling as if, when's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? And then all of a sudden, boom, it happens. So yeah, be, be patient. It's, it's coming. All right. So Scorpio, <laughs> I see that we have the Queen of Wands as well as the Ace of Wands. So this is kind of a great situation going on here for you. So you have a queen presenting herself to you who is attractive and fun and loving and uh, generous and playful. And of course, there is a lot of sexual attraction and physical attraction going on between the two of you. That's not just a... Um, you know, it's not just physical. You are feeling uh, a type of bond with this person, and you are wanting to uh, have a successful relationship with her so, or him. The Queen of Wands can be male or female. It's simply the energy that this Queen of Wands represents. It can be male or female. We all have Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine within us. So when we are feeling um, that we have met this person, uh, whether you are a male who dates other men or a woman who dates other women or a man and a woman that date men and women. Okay, so it could be, it could represent any of those things, but there will be a very strong um, attraction, not just spiritually, but you will feel this connection uh, physically as well as spiritually. Okay, so... All right. Well, we have the King of Pentacles as well as the Hanged Man. So you may be feeling just a little bit stagnant still. You're still feeling like, uh, you know, I'm here. I'm ready. I'm, you know, this is just not coming in quick enough. When is, when is this person going to come into my life? Okay. Remember, you've got to use your temperance and be patient and uh, it, it will present itself. Now, you being impatient is not going to slow it down or anything, but it'll make the time seem like it's longer than it should. And remember, this is the reading for the month of November, so it could come in at any time during the month of November. All right. So, your partner is feeling uh, the Hermit as well as the King of Cups. And again, there's no gender in the Tarot. So don't get hung up on the gender of these cards. But this is the way your partner is feeling. They are viewing you as someone who is very loving. They see you as the King of Cups. And, you know, the King of Cups represents water signs, which is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, which is you, Scorpio. And so they see you as someone who has it all together and that, you know, they have spent all this time <clears throat> alone contemplating what it is what they want out of life and where they want to go with it. And <clears throat> when they see you, they are going to uh, recognize that in you and uh, speak up. They're a little bit bold about it. Now, the Queen of the Queen of Wands is always very bold, and she will speak up and say whatever it is she's feeling if she is uh, attracted to you, which, you know, definitely she is attracted to you, or he is attracted to you. I'm just saying she because it's a queen there. Alright, so we have Ten of Wands reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed, okay. So, <clears throat> your nights of staying up, fretting, and worrying, and crying over the um, third-party situation that you've recently been through is over. It no longer hurts. You are evolving past that. All these swords are falling out one by one. This, uh, this Queen of wands is healing you and helping you to get past that All right. so we have uh, death as well as the page of Pentacles so and they're both in reverse so anyway this is the end of the situation with the, pr the previous person uh, the one who you had the tower moment with, the one who was out partying so much, the one who had the third party situation going on. Uh, you have completely put this to an end. Uh, you have cut off all communication, any type of solid communication. You know, they may still continue to call you or text you, but you're not answering. You're not uh, giving them any encouragement at all. You have ended the situation completely. Uh, because you are ready to move forward. Now your obstacles are the Nine of Wands as well as the Devil. So 
All right, now this person from your past <clears throat> may have, uh, you know, it was a little bit of a toxic situation, a little bit of codependency going on there. There could have been, um, you know, a little alcohol going on, a little bit of maybe drugs, um, any type of addictions, whether it's sex, food, um, alcohol, drugs, anything like that, uh, drama, <laughs> okay? Uh, remember I was talking earlier uh, that the impression that I received was that they don't know how to love properly. Uh, maybe they come from a broken home or were passed around a little bit, so they don't understand about bonds and loyalty. Uh, they just make it work with whoever they are with at that particular time. But uh, definitely, this is something you're letting go of and especially need to let go of, that you're recognizing that for what it was and uh, it's no longer going to be a problem. Now your outcome is Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Swords and then we have the Empress and the Queen of Cups. So here we go. So yes, as far as the Queen of Swords goes, it shows me that you are completely cutting out this person from your past and that you are changing your luck and moving forward uh, to find that this Queen of Cups is basically your empress. She could be a water sign that has a lot of um, air or Libra in her sign as well. And so this Queen of Cups is the perfect complement to you, the way that they view you as the King of Cups. You know, your Scorpio, this is your, your beautiful queen here waiting on you. Uh, of course, you see her as your empress and your whole world is changing and where did they go here they are and so you are perfect lovers and uh, complete and divine union with this person once you are able to uh, cut those ties with with where did the little queen go here she okay oh well well you know the queen of swords was just here i don't know where i put her but anyway so you can you can uh move forward with your with your Queen of Cups as soon as you cut the other out of your life. Uh, really don't try to move forward until you do uh, move that completely out of your life. Here she is right here. Just cut all that off. Uh, you've got, it was a very terribly toxic situation. Um, the, the death card tells me that this is something that you really and truly need to end. Uh, it serves no one any good purpose. And as they come forward and try to communicate with you, see how she's holding her hand up like, oh, nope, stop right there. Don't come any closer. I'll get you off at the knees. So that is exactly what you need to do in order to have this um, beautiful and happy ending with um, your divine counterpart that will be coming in very soon. Uh, it doesn't even feel like it's end of November. It feels more like mid-November. And so that is your reading for our November 2019, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I want to take a second and thank you all so very much for all of your support and your donations and for the ones that have written to me for a personalized reading. And if anyone else would like a personal reading, you can email me at midnightwingtarot at gmail.com. And I just want to um, tell you guys again, thank you so much for all your subscriptions and likes and comments. It means so much to me. And I enjoy getting to know each and every one of you and building this little community here on YouTube. And so you guys have a great day. And I will see you back mid-November. And I will be doing updates as well for full moon as well as new moon during the month of November. All right, you guys have a blessed day. All right, bye-bye. Love you.